hi and welcome back we are in my bedroom today and the reason for that is that I want to show you most of the stuff that I have made for myself in various states of okayness I really only got started in making my own clothes right around the time the pandemic hit and I feel like I have made quite a lot of stuff, but I've never actually sat down and looked at it as a collection. So we are going to be brutally honest today and rate all of my me made clothes. And some of it is probably going to be bad. I'm going to pull all of those out. I'm going to try all of them on for better or for worst. Worse? Worst? And I'm going to rate each piece on a few different categories. So first, I'm going to look at the overall fit. Did I make this fit the way that I intended it to? Second, I'm going to look at this style. Is the style flattering? And that includes the color. I'm also going to rate these on the level of doneness. Did I actually finish them? Or did I get frustrated and stop and say, good enough? And then finally, I will give it just an overall blank out of 10 score. As I go through each item, I'll also talk about what I use to make it. Spoiler alert, 95% of these are probably going to be from fabrics that I thrifted. Nobody is surprised. I know that. Without further ado, let's see what I've got. Section one, kimonos and robes. This was my first attempt at making a kimono style robe. And in general, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. I think the fit is a four out of five. It's the right amount of baggy. The style itself, eh, maybe a three out of five. It's a good color, but I'm not sure if it's super flattering on me. The doneness, however, solid two out of five. There's still some raw edges. The seams on the inside, ooh, tissue, are fraying and I haven't done anything with them. But overall, I think I'd give this a seven out of 10. It's not bad. This next one is made from a tapestry you'd probably see in some college kids dorm room. And I like the way I use the design, especially on the back and the fit overall four out of five, but the style, I think I get some extra points for that design. I'm going to, I think I'm going to give myself a four out of five for that. The doneness, however, it's a mess on the inside. It's a total mess. So I've got to go back in and clean up some of the edges and, and fix the cuffs of the sleeves. But overall, 7 out of 10. I made a video about this next one, so if you want to watch the construction journey, pop over there and take a look at it. But this is probably my favorite one that I've made so far. The fit, 5 out of 5. Love it. The style, I think it's gorgeous. One pocket, it's lined. 5 out of 5. The doneness, I like the best. All the hems are finished. The inside seams are finished. Overall score, 10 out of 10. I love it. Section two, skirts. This first one is made from the same material as some military uniforms, which I thought was a cool little story, but the fit has a little bit to be desired. It is a skosh too big, but I made it with a tie back, so I think I can fix that pretty easily. The style though, super cute. I like the tie in the back, double pockets, four out of five for that. The doneness, if we take away the fit, it is done. We include the fit, three out of five. And overall, I'll give it eight out of 10 points. This was my first attempt at a circle skirt and it's made from 100% wool plaid. The fit, five out of five. It fits the waist, great. The style, four out of five, and it takes some points off because of the side. It's so bulky. Where do you put a pocket on circle skirts? I don't understand where pockets go. The doneness, four out of five. I included a liner for it, but the side pocket drives me crazy. So if I can figure that part out, overall score will be nine out of 10. But until then, seven out of 10, out of spite. This next one just needs to be thrown out, I think. It's another attempt at a circle skirt and I wanted a wide waistband, but the fit, two out of five. Terrible. Hate it. The style, I see where I was going, but two out of five. The It's too stiff. It's weird. The waistband is too high. Can't stand it. Overall doneness, no, no, just zero because it's not done. I can't wear it. Just 
overall score, two out of 10. Hate it, hate it. I'm going to probably take it apart and do something completely different with it. I'm tired of looking at this. From my least favorite to perhaps my most worn, this is my fish skirt made from a bed sheet. It is super comfortable. I think it's really cute. It needs a good iron. It's got a patch pocket and a side pocket. Fit, five out of five. Style, if you don't mind looking a little prairie-esque, five out of five. The overall doneness, it could use some work on the inside with the different seams and things, but four out of five for doneness. But overall, I love it. Nine out of 10 for me. Also in need of a good press is my linen skirt. This is from a set of Ikea curtains that were pink and I dyed them to this rusty red color. The fit, five out of five. I love the way this skirt fits. The style, for me, five out of five. I just think it's so cute and flowy. The doneness, four out of five. I like my bottom hem that I put in there, but there's some areas that maybe need a little bit more work. But overall, I give this one a 10 out of 10. It's just so comfortable and it is just one of my favorites. I would make a hundred more of these. Okay, so excuse me while I go find some sparkly red shoes. This is my Dorothy skirt. The fit, five out of five. Again, fits my waist really well and I love the length. The style, as long as you don't mind looking like you're on the prairie. I think it's super cute. The doneness though, eh, it's okay. Probably a three out of five. The waistband gets a little funky in the back and I think the back is a little too, almost a little too pleated for me. That sounds weird to say, but overall it's an eight out of 10. It's just so dang cute. I made this skirt out of one yard of wool that I found at Goodwill for a dollar. So this is my $1 wool skirt that is way too big. And now I have to fix it. The fit, three out of five, way too big. And now it's gonna be a lot more work. But the style, chef's kiss, five out of five, delicious. The doneness, three out of five because I have to fix the fit. But overall, once I get the fit fixed, this is going to be a solid 10 out of 10. It is professional looking and it only cost me a dollar. Love it. My final skirt is made out of $4 of upholstery fabric that I found at the thrift store. And it is perhaps my most favorite thing I've ever made. I think this is so beautiful. I would want to wear this every single day, but because it's white, I can't be trusted. The fit, five out of five, it hits perfectly on the floor with little teeny heels, perfect in the waist. The pockets are great. The style, five out of five, a million out of five. The doneness, I'm actually completely done with this. I don't need to update anything on it. Overall, a million out of 10. One million out of 10. Love it. Section three. Jumpsuits. Okay, let me just acknowledge that these are not overly flattering. That's even better. I recognize that. The fit is a three out of five. They don't fit very well. I feel like I'm wearing MC Hammer pants. The style though, it's four out of five, I guess. I don't know. I know these aren't great, but I still love them so much. I followed a tutorial from Jess Dang on YouTube and it was actually pretty easy. I just like these. The doneness, I didn't finish any of the raw edges. The seams on the inside are fraying. It's not done. It's a two out of five, not done. But overall, I just love these overalls. And I kind of want a hundred sets of them. Seven out of 10 would make again. Did make again. I tried these again and I like this set a little better. The legs are a little too tight, so the fit is gonna be a four out of five, but I think the body and the crotch fits a little better. The style, this print makes them a five out of five. Super cool, nice and summery. The doneness, I did a little bit better this time with my hems and my seams, four out of five. And overall, 
I would give this one an 8 out of 10. It was an upgrade. I just need to fix the the ankles on the bottom because they're a little snug. Sexy. Last up, dresses. Let's just start with a fail. This was t-shirt material. There is no styling that went into this. Fit, 3 out of 5. Fine. Not great. Style, 1 out of 5. It's not good. Doneness, 1 out of 5. There are no hems on this. There is no finishing of the seams. The neckline, oh, just not good. I don't think I'll ever wear this. I'm going to probably take it apart and make something else with it. Overall, 3 out of 10. Not good. But this is why we practice and use thrifted fabrics so we don't waste our money. Another practice dress made out of a bed sheet. Who doesn't need a fabric tube to live in? This one's a little bit better. It's probably too long, so I think I might shorten it up. Bruce definitely approves. But I like the sleeves on this, and I like the collar that I did. So fit, maybe a three out of five. The style, no, two out of five. I look like I'm in a fabric tube. The doneness, three out of five. I think I could alter this in ways to make it a little more flattering and also comfortable. So overall for this one, five out of 10. Shorten it up, put on a belt. I think it'll look better. My next dress was made out of a jersey sheet that I found for a dollar. And I wanted to attempt more of a bodice. Smooth. This one was kind of a surprise. It turned out way better than I thought it would. I put some darts in the front and in the back to kind of get it fitted a little bit more. And the sleeves are pretty comfortable. The fit is probably a three out of five. I think the waist is a little too low. This style though, I'm pretty happy with the style. Maybe a four out of five. The doneness, it's okay. Maybe three out of five. And then overall, seven out of 10. Perfectly fine. This next one, I actually used a pattern for. It's one of the free patterns from Mood and I will link it below. It's their Queen's Gambit Pinafore pattern and I'm thrilled with this. It's a wrap dress that I made out of a duvet cover and you probably recognize the fabric from my jumpsuit. The fit, five out of five. I love it. The style, also love. 100%, five out of five. Get it, girl. Doneness, this is actually pretty finished. For me, this is super finished. Five out of five for that. Overall, 10 out of 10. I love it. I love this dress and I will make it again and probably again. Another addition to my $1 collection is this little dress. I got about a yard and a half for a buck and I just don't think I'm that fond of this. I wanted to do a wrap dress with sleeves, but the waist sits too high and it's also too big and because of the waist, it kind of makes me look pregnant, which is not a look I'm going for. The overall fit, three out of five. It's perfectly fine. And the style, again, maybe a three out of five. It's fine. It's not offensive, but it's not what I'm looking for. The doneness, three out of five, maybe a four out of five. It's wearable the way it is, but I'm just not real happy with it. So overall, I give this a 6 out of 10 just for being meh. But I found that if you can learn from your failures, improvement happens. And that's where this dress comes from. This one, I love so much more. I'm not positive this color looks great on me, but I think the fit is 5 out of 5. The bodice fits very well. I think the skirt falls in an attractive way. The wrap part, nailed it. Love it. Oh, I love this one. The style, four out of five, because I'm not sure I love the color yet, but the doneness, 
five out of five. All of my seams are done. There are really no alterations I need to make to this at all. So overall, I would give this a nine out of 10. And that one point off is really just because I'm not sure about the color yet. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that color on my pasty self. And finally is my linen wrap dress. I have a video talking about the construction of this one. So if you wanted to go check that out, please do. But I'm so excited about this dress, even though it's not perfect. I haven't put any ties in it, as you can see, but I love the way this dress fits. I love the sleeves and where they hit. I think that the bodice is pretty flattering, especially for a wrap dress. So fit, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I'm gonna probably bring the waist up just a little teeny tiny bit because this sits a little lower than I would prefer. The style, five out of five. I have been drooling over these kind of dresses for a long time and to be able to make my own finally. The doneness, four out of five because there are some small alterations I'd like to make to it just to get it perfect. But overall, this is my favorite dress I've ever made. 10 out of 10, even with the alterations needed. That's it. That's what I've got. Some were more successful than others. Actually, I have one more thing that I just have to show you. Hold on. All right, now I'm for real done. <sighs> you know how hard it is to put on a cloak in the middle of a walk-in closet? <sighs> it's pretty hard. So I hope you had fun looking at all of my projects, successful and not. I think like everybody else, you tend to see all the flaws in the stuff that you make. So, you know, I'm probably my worst critic. I don't know, maybe some of you guys will be the worst critic too. Who knows? As always, like, subscribe, let me know which one was your favorite look. Maybe let me know which one wasn't your favorite. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Making your own clothes. It's... Stop. There was a cat. Grace was barking at a cat.